at least 170 Florida patients started reporting symptoms associated with COVID-19 on January 1st, almost the same day that Beijing first reported the outbreak. A newly identified Florida patient, 67-year-old Thais Tepper, had almost all of the symptoms more than a month before Florida reported its first cases. I got sick uh, on the 22nd of January and uh, it started with a headache, a very strange headache. Then I had uh, very irritated eyes, they were felt very dry and sort of a stuffy head and a very low-grade fever. And I had that for, it didn't get any worse. I just had that for about three or four days. And then I felt better. And for oh, about three or four days, I thought oh, I've really kicked this. And then after that, I just woke up with a cough and I have really, really bad cough, like a racking cough and higher fever and tightness in my chest. I said it was like wearing a Victorian whalebone corset. I just feel like somebody had just laced me in. On February 3rd, Tepper went to an urgent care facility in Naples, Florida. So they tested me for strep, tested me for flu. The nurses were wearing, you know, uh, uh, masks, but just lab coats. And, you know, jab, jab, nope. Here's some cough medicine, here's some antibiotics because your throat is swollen, your ears, you know, are, we can see redness in your ears, and goodbye. And I walked out and was sick. They did not know. I was sick for another probably seven days. During a White House coronavirus test for briefing, Tepper heard about the COVID-19 antibody test. She found a company that would perform the test for her. The body starts producing IgG antibodies, which uh, is like a, a, a fighting mechanism to say, well, I know there is a virus, something strange in my body, and now I'm going to recognize it if you come again. She came and she got tested the first week, more or less, that we started testing. Um, and she tested positive, IgG positive. And the reason why we, be, we want to test her is because we want to see how long is this IgG uh, going to be positive. CGTN accompanied Tepper to her second antibody test. Her first test was on April 8th, the second a month later. Both came positive for the coronavirus antibody. The company says its test has a 96 percent sensitivity rate, making it highly accurate. From what I'm seeing, uh, it definitely was here before they said it was. This past week, two Florida local newspapers, the Palm Beach Post and the Miami Herald, identified possible early cases based on patient symptoms. State health officials have documented suspected COVID-19 patients between January 1st of 2020 and February 29th of 2020. There are 171 patients in Florida that reported symptoms in early January and February. Does that mean that the coronavirus was already here? It's very hard to determine that at this point. I think it's very likely that the virus was here uh, as that early. Um, there's evidence from other places that, that, that it was. At the, in January, February, that's also our flu season. And it's nearly impossible to, to um, determine um, if we're talking about some of those that when you have flu-like symptoms, if it's the flu or it's not the flu or that it has been around for a while. Governor Ron DeSantis announced Florida's first two COVID-19 cases on March 1st. He said the virus was here by the Super Bowl celebrations, the first week of February. When Thais Tepper tried to inform health authorities she had the virus earlier, she said they ignored her. And I sent them copies of it, and nobody called me. No, no one contacted me. I've never been contacted by the health department. My case is not counted. The state of Ohio reported its first three cases on March 9th. Now the state says Ohio had its first cases in early January, two months earlier. That we actually have a new date of onset. We have found five cases now that the, age, that, that the date of onset of symptoms was in January. 
um, and we're doing a lot more investigation. Our disease detectives are going back to take a look at that and see if they were associated with travel. The case previously thought to be this country's first was related to travel, a patient from the state of Washington. He had returned from a trip to Wuhan, China. The CDC reported his case on January 21st. New test results show COVID-19 has been spreading in American communities earlier and on the opposite side of the country. Nitsa Soledad Perez, CGTN, Miami.